what do you look for on the bottle? Okay. And, and can you trust what it actually says? You can trust it, but so much of this safety is up to you, the user, because you're the one that's applying it, you're the one that's reapplying it. So first of all, you're looking for SPF. Now we explain this maths. SPF is the number here. This is the number 15. This is a sun protection factor. This means that if I can stay out in the sun without any protection for 10 minutes, with this protection, it will let me stay out for 15 times that, so 150 right. minutes. 150 minutes without burning. Now, um, SPF 30 isn't twice as effective as the 15. It will just let you stay out for longer. But all the manufacturers would probably say reapply every two hours. It's just safer. The UVB... Yeah, sorry, what does that mean? What's UVA, UVB? A, UVB is burning, B for burning, UVA is ageing, A for ageing. If you've got UVA written in a circle, that means it's past European standard and it'll protect you from UVA rays. If there's a load of stars, it means it's exceeded that standard. So it's got to have a UVA in a circle. If it's got stars, lots of stars, so much so the better. OK, okay? all right, that's good. Something else that's really important that I think most of us don't really look at is sell-by dates. Absolutely. Well, they all say on them, they all have... It's usually 12 months. This one has got a little 12 months after it's been opened. So what I would do is, after it's been opened... Can, can you see it? the size of that? I mean, it's tiny. I know, tiny. It's, it's tiny, weeny... You got it? Yeah. Mm. 12 months, little thing. What I would do is, when I've opened that for the first time, what's the date today? It's the 20... Oh, my mum's birthday. Happy oh, birthday. Happy, oh, happy birthday, birthday, Linda. birthday yeah. Holly's mum. 24th of the 5th. 18. That's when I've opened it. So I know next year when we go on holiday in June. And does it, that's it, that. it drops off you? It's not as effective? No, it's not going to drop off a cliff, but it's going to be certainly less effective. Right. These are chemicals in here. These are oxides that scatter the UVB rays as, and stops them penetrating through our skin. Why take the risk? It's yeah. the most important thing that you put on your child. What are the, um, the biggest myths about sun cream? Well, the one that I am dumbfounded by all the time is that people put on their makeup and they say, oh, it's got SPF in it. This is fantastic. It's got yeah. SPF 15. Now, in order to make that effective all day, you've got to reapply that every two hours. You've right. got to reapply a teaspoon of it every two hours. You show me somebody who reapplies yeah. that much, that yeah, often. Yeah. So... The other thing, I noticed you've got the one-a-day ones here yes. as well. Do they work? Are they really popular? important with these. Yes, they work, but these are banned in Australia. Now, nobody takes sun care more seriously than the Australians. Wow. These are banned. The claims are banned in Australia. They cannot make a claim that says apply once a day. Because if you think about it, the toweling, the rubbing, the sweat, the heat, the light reflection... They're not tested for that. There's un no universal testing standard for once-a-day creams. Use them by all means. They will protect you, but don't just apply them at the beginning of the day and leave it well, all day. Well, the whole point of it, it says you can do it once a day. So in which I case, know, they're lying to Can you imagine if you miss off the left ear of your child... Okay, all day. ..on that one application? Then it's missed off for the whole day. If your child gets five sunburns through their childhood, they are 80% more likely to get skin cancer. Oh, my God. 80%. Wow. So why take the risk? If you've missed a little bit off, and we do, we're humans, we do miss bits, then that's why it's important, which is why if you're using a sun cream like this that's see-through, I can't see where that's gone. It's lovely. Smells great. I don't know where I've applied and where I haven't. Mm. I wouldn't use one like that on a child. I'd use a good old, thick, squelchy one. So can I can see, see where I've see applied where it, it, and I happen to have a scantily clod, clad, scantily clad, <laughs> scantily clad model that I can apply sun cream to. Perfect. So you're going to show us the dream, isn't properly, it, really? Living the dream. Serious. So we can look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, Jack, welcome. Meet Philip. Meet Holly. This okay. so, is how much we should. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Arlo. <laughs> I keep him in my dressing room and I bring him out when I need him. Oh, right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so how much is are we supposed to be using? Seven teaspoons for your body is the guide. Right. Okay. So one teaspoon for your face, one for each arm, one for the front, one for the back, one for each leg. Does that add up to seven? I think so. That's 35 millilitres. So come on, let's just. So one teaspoon let's is 35 play the game. Mil. Let's have the Yes, one teaspoon. Like think of a medicine. No, one teaspoon is five mil. Yes. Oh, yes. So a little course. medicine spoon. Think oh, I see. So you, yeah. you need that. Can I give you a. a so squad? actually, when you go on holiday, that's, that's not going to last that long, is it? I mean, if you have got no, three kids. That's 200 mil. That's five applications. You need lots of the stuff if you're going to take it seriously. Yeah. Mm. Yeah? So that's why you can put that one on the one arm. Is that more than you'd normally do? Can I do your back? Do you mind? I'm assuming he's Lovely. not mic'd. No, 
he's not mine. I don't need him to speak. I just need him to stand there (laughs) so I can apply to his back. Um, tell me also about the uh, these patches as well yeah. that you can get. Well, interesting. And on Bristol, I have developed this patch, which is interesting because they found that half of adults are not aware or not bothered by sun protection. And what this patch does is you stick it on and it shows you, it changes colour. It's a little... I'm now covered in all sorts of gunk. It changes colour. If it goes pink, then you know that your child needs to be protected in the sun. Right. Um, I'm not sure I would rely on that. I would just reapply. If it's a sunny day, you need sun cream. What about Full makeup? Cup that says it's got an SPF in it. Yeah, absolutely. You need to reapply that. You need to put... Don't treat it as sun protection. On a cloudy day, it's probably enough. On a sunny day, no, you need sun cream as well. And your sun cream goes on top of your moisturiser, not the other way around. Oh, right, OK. Good yeah? Um, thank you very much. Lots of... Well, you've left I mean, Jack you and I are old mess, haven't you? Oh, no, sorry. You <laughs> well, I mean, I... Uh, crack on. Um, uh, <laughs> do you mind? What to say? Uh, yeah, very <laughs> you good. You do the programme, Jack and I just... Right. Get on with okay. it. OK. <laughs>